Okay, in 2007, um, we really started analyzing kind of our model of program delivery, and it was determined that we would best be able to serve girls in an outreach model, meaning that girls weren't coming to us and we were going to them. Therefore, partners are just this amazing resource for us that we are able to go to them, use their resources, their facility, their girls, and provide our um, age-appropriate research-based programming. Our outreach model is, is proving to be very effective um, in, in this setting. Um, it's, it's six sessions for one hour or four sessions for one hour, depending on which program you select. Girls Inc. is typically able to supplement programs for girls that uh, community centers and schools necessarily aren't the experts in. Um, our age-appropriate and research-based programs tackle a variety of subject matter, such as financial literacy, um, media literacy, girl aggression, and those are things that typically, um, especially in the arena of schools, they're focusing very much on academics and were able to supplement kind of their programs with ours. We were actually contacted um, with, by Juan Ange, who is the director at the Lagore Boys and Girls Club, um, and he was just kind of overhearing some conversations that were taking place with his girls, and he did some research on some programs to um, send them positive messages as they're growing, um, especially some sexuality-based programs and relationships, and he sought us out to provide our Growing Together program for them to um, educate them and empower them on making good choices as they grow. Girls Inc. is typically looking at a partner, um, someone that, first of all, is empowering women in whatever type of facility they're in, whether it's a school, whether it's a community center, whether it's a church. And then we're looking for a safe space. Um, this space needs to typically have a door on it, um, and it also needs to be free of boys because we all know that girls tend to act a lot differently when a male walks into the room where there is that male presence. Um, we also look for a partner that's going to have someone available to us during programming hours that if we had an issue or need something addressed that they're there. Um, to help us work through that. Um, there is a hesitancy for girl programming mainly because they don't know what do we do with the boys. Um, and at that time we offered them some organizations in the Indianapolis area that work with boys. Um, or we also tell them that once, if you can give us this time with this girls and maybe the boys are just at the recess or whatever, that they will notice a difference. Um, another question we get is how much does it cost? And we base that off of um, a free and reduced lunch count at a school or community center um, to find out if it is a program that we can subsidize because we want to make sure that no girl is left out of receiving our program. Um, typically people contact us if they're interested in our organization um, and then we'll ask them whether they are administrator at the school um, and then we can go from there with setting up an initial partnership meeting. If it's a parent, they can either give us the contact person at that organization or school or um, they can go through that channel and have that person at the school organization contact us.